Good morning, how are we doing? Oh, my old, I put this cigarette out, the smoke's going everywhere. From the smoke by the way, Dr. Crackle would Oh, let me see. Anyway, I thought I'd give you a quick look at this um, and see what you think. Oh, oh I struggle. Oh. Look at this point, but now it's been back and forward and round about in and out. Stuff on, stuff off. We've got to a point and I'm going to leave it like that for a little while and just come back to it, freshen up and tidy things up a little bit and have a look. See, I was looking, I don't know, a couple of canvases kicking around there somewhere. But I think uh, they've been cleared out. Quite a lot of other stuff, so haha. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get some more. I'm going to try and see what this goes with. I've got somebody. I think I need to get, I need to try and set this camera up better and get back onto it. Somebody was uh, asking actually. Uh, get back on the sticks and hopefully shortly, yes, uh, we're going to try it. Uh, I'm going to have to alter things a little bit. I could do invest in a bit of equipment for, to make these things, but uh, I don't really want to do that, you know. Uh, but I'm pleased with it. Well, I don't think he's ever pleased with the thing we've done. Pleased with aspects of it, and I'll probably go in and I'll probably see it again. I'll probably a different, a slightly different look to it. Um, as, as I said, it's that long since I've done anything like this, so uh, I have to go at things again. But it's, in some ways, it's as fun as I feel, it's enjoyable. Yeah, it's enjoyable enough, but. Frustrate, I think he would like to have a shot at it too, but I don't know. He's got patience, you need patience for this business. Um, and you've got to be prepared to fail <laughs> massively at times, too. I think so. Yeah, but you keep at it, come leave it, go away, go walk, come back. If or not, I'm, I'm just going to wait just shortly. Actually, I'm going to go down to have a look, I'm going down to Port Edgar. I was in the other day there. And uh, parked up is uh, a 33 foot catch. I've never seen one. I've heard about them, but I've never seen one before. And it was built in John Miller's yard. In <coughs> he was a he was very good shipbuilder. Uh, and uh, had a yard in St. Moran's in, in Fife. Uh, and it closed in the, I think it was the early 70s. And his boats are tremendous boats, extremely well built. They were based on the keels in particular, they were based on the fishing, a lot of like the fishing boats, uh, trawlers, man, I kind of think. Very, very strong, very stable, very seaworthy. Um, and I've never actually seen one of these, these boats. I've heard about them and, and uh, read about them and that kind of thing, but I've never actually seen one. I parked up, by, uh, I think it was, uh, it's, it's, a, it's had two or three owners, it's in need of some repair. Uh, the plankings uh, definitely needed repair and the propeller brought bits and pieces and uh, not, I don't think I don't know, like, you never know these things that you start stripping things out. And, but it's, uh, they were extremely well planked, it was inch planking, large planking on uh, oak frames. Uh, so, a bit of work replacing, and there's one or two away. I don't know whether they'll get away with them, no, I think we'll need to take it out and thing. But uh, it's going to need a bit of work done on it, but it's beautiful. It's, well, it's not, it's not beautiful. It's a good example of Scott's boat building. Uh, and uh, parked up, and it must have been trailered up from down south. It was uh, it's had two feet and half a dozen owners, I think. This boat, uh, and uh, and it's time. And uh, I'm led to believe that Monsignor Corrigan and his brothers owned it at one time. Uh, it was built in 1961. Um, but uh, if you're going to be on the North Sea on, on a boat, this is the thing you want to be in, like, you know, uh, very seaworthy. And uh, good, 
good engine. Uh, it's the old Lister Blackstone Marine Diesel 30, 35 horse. Solid, solid engine. Um, very, very dependable. I think it's probably I think it's still got the original engine in it. And, uh, so um, I was in too much of a rush the other day there and uh, I, I couldn't actually spend any time. So uh, I'm going down today to have a, a look at it. Somebody's obviously. Uh, it, was bro it was being brokered, um, so somebody local surrounding about bought it um, and I brought it in there. Uh, so it'll be interesting, there may be a bit of luck of bumping the person that owns it. Uh, I just bought it anyway and see what their plans are for it, like, you know, because uh, the last time I was in the trawler was uh, it was uh, doing a bit of repair work uh, and one down there it was heading for the. Well, I wasn't doing the repair work, the chap I knew was, and I was down one day visiting him, and I was going to the museum, I think it was heading up for Anstrill or was it? Somewhere up there, anyway, up on the east coast. Uh, so, we were down in the, the, the guts of the, the boat and uh, it was all to do with fish, the thing was like, I was, there was no room for men as such, like, you know, there was no sleeping or anything of these things, like, you know, everything was stacking fish in. And it was a ringfisher, and uh, I don't know what I've said to you before, but on the, one of the, the posts was uh, the Mission Bible. There was a holder for it, and, uh, and then it was the, the Mission Bible. Uh, and so I took it out. Uh, it was brand new, never been, I have never been leafed through or looked at or anything like that. And I said to the chap, I said, things new, this is, nobody's had this out of here. Oh, he says, Jim, he says, he said, in a force eight and a force nine, he says, in a North Sea, he says, it wasn't the Bible you're reaching for, he says, it was the bottle, he says, I said, all oh, right, that's, that's probably true enough, mate, you, <laughs> finding business to see you when you're on it. Uh, and uh, I like calm, I'm a calm water person, I don't really like uh, big seas, uh, especially on a boat anyway, that's for sure. Uh, so, I've had friends that have got boats and yachts and that kind of thing, and I made to, to go with them and a little bit, oh no, no, I'm not really a good, good sailor at all, I can, I can stand it, but I give them the choice, I don't really want it. So like my idea, a boat, something like the, a big bloody liner. That you wouldn't know you were on, on, on the water. Uh, that's my idea of a boat, like, you know. Uh, five star service all the way, that's, that's it, like, you know. Uh, so I'm going to wait down there to take one or two photographs, certainly, of it uh, when it's out of the water, uh, because it's got a fantastic keel to it and uh, draft, uh, it's about a four feet draft on, on this. Uh, but, uh, and so I'm going down to take one or two photographs of it while I've got a chance because you see about the water. As I say, I've never seen one. Um, heard about them, but never actually seen one. So that's where I'm headed for. <laughs> so uh, with a bit of luck, I'll talk to somebody who knows who's got it. And uh, it'll be quite interesting to find out what's planned for it. Uh, anyway, get back to the painting and back to the stick making maybe. <laughs> we'll never know. Uh, but... Uh, I thought I'd let you see it, and uh, there's bits I'll do, I'll come back to it, I'll, I'll, I'll let a point yet, and, uh, and touch up certain things, and try not to overdo it, that's the thing. You, as I said to you before, you've got to, you reach a point where you've got to go, right, that'll do, that's it, good enough, we'll stop at that, uh, don't go on too far. Uh, and the tendency is to always I try and add a bit to it, and add a bit to it, and add a bit to it. Uh, it's it's been a learning thing. It's just yeah. It's, uh, and uh, would I would I planned it out that way? Probably not. No. But uh, as I said before, I don't really plan things. I just go with it and see what happens. But uh, if we're going to do a bit more, we need to do a bit more planning to it, I think, and uh, try and get something that's sellable, maybe. <laughs> I can't sell it anything right now. No bloody use at all. Oh, God. Uh, 
I've given up on Gumtree, I'm just going to scrub all the I've got on it, take it off. Uh, just, uh, no bloody, can't just do it at all, you know. So I'll uh, we'll pass it that, I think, and uh, as I say, I'm going to wait there to look at this. Uh, this is interesting. Um, so, not that I've ever really had, I worked on boats back and forward and done a bit of clinker work. And, and interesting, there's no doubt about it, like, you know, uh, I always fancied building one. Well, not that bloody size, obviously. It's <laughs> 33 bloody feet, I think. <laughs> Three feet might be better, like conical, I think. That might be better, like. Uh, I always had a notion to, uh, and I've, had a, I've got a book in there, actually. It's an American thing on uh, plywood boats, you know, building out plywood and that. And the son had said to me about it, and I think we did this as well, if we get space, uh, but you need a, 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 a biggish kind of workshop to lay things out. And, yeah, we haven't really got that. And, yeah, it doesn't matter what kind of space you've got, you tend to fill it. Uh, and uh, it's a perfect example, of course. And uh, But it would be nice to uh, maybe have a shot at one. Um, and I've watched, as I say, I've watched the. Uh, programs on it and uh, but there's very few conventional boat builders left as such, you know, especially the wood. Um, a lot of the islands in that one time had, in the west coast, sorry, had uh, boat builders and had east coast. But uh, John Miller's it's quite a thing, as I say, I've not heard of them but not actually seen one of their, their boats out at all, so that's where we'll go. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what he paid for it, but uh, I don't know he'd probably tell me. Like I know what it was, it was up for sale for, but I don't know. I don't think he would pay that for it. I think, uh, the way bit of work it's needing done, I think it'll probably. But it might well be. You never know. Yeah. Anyway, I'll pass it that uh, and uh, get going. Uh, but yeah, we'll leave. It. We'll leave it at that. We'll come back. At it. We'll come back and fight another day, and that'll be it. Like you know, okay. Anyway, catch you later. Cheers.